right, let's say hi to Kevin the trucker. Kevin, what's up? Hey, man, I just wanted to fucking flat out say, you know what, I'm pissed off. They're going to sit there, they're going to play Patrice's promo, and they're going to sit there and censor fucking Jimmy. And, uh, and Patrice sits there and says fucking nigger in his intro. And they're going to censor Jimmy. That's that, fucking bullshit. I believe I, you dude, said I, it with an A. I, I, I just walked back in and heard the last part of what you said. That is exactly the example I was going to use. What, what's yeah. the example now? The fact is um, that, like, Patrice will say, uh, Get both oh, promos. nigga, please. And he'll say all that. And, they'll ne and they shouldn't edit it. And that's just the way he, he speaks. And that's fine. They shouldn't edit that. Or how about some of the sound clips we use? None of those are ever edited. So why, in the same spirit of being obnoxious or silly, would they edit something? That yes. is what annoys me. And I don't know why Steve would even call that in. That bothers me that he would even call that. Unless it was slander or, or unless it was some vicious tirade. Let's hear the edited version. Can we hear the edited version, please? So wait, wait. To set this up, this is a promo for what? I don't even know. I'm doing the Stress Factor this weekend. Oh, okay. That's right. All shows are sold out, so we added a Sunday late show. And... Um, Ooh, Blackberry. We added the Sunday late show, so I cut a very stupid... Silly promo for it that was so obviously over the top. All right, so then you did this, and then Steve uh, took it upon himself to be responsible. Smoothie. Okay. Yeah, but an another time we had a racial thing that Steve was a little worried about too. He gets weird with the racial stuff. It's, it's like, I, don't, yeah. I don't know why, man. Well, where's that I, coming from? I don't know. And when they and when they listen to it, it's not like they can see the swastika tattoo on your arm. You know what I mean? No, not at all. All right. Thank you. I read Jimmy's mind. Oh, thank you. I read Jimmy's mind. <laughs> Your argument's better without Rich. So anyway, so anyway, you did um, you did this promo. Yeah. Steve decided to check on it, and uh, someone uh, I get, was it Don that got back to him and said I don't, that I, I don't know why Steve's getting the version. I guess who I got back to Steve <laughs> Don God with that uh, itching and sneezing. What the hell did why, I? Where's the edited there? version of this? Because I don't think I'm willing to fully blame Steve here. I only I think Steve. because because like a good soldier, Steve went up to check it out. But the person he checked with should have said, "No, of course not." Then why wouldn't why Steve ask me? Why, like why, why would Steve? Why wouldn't Steve say that to me? Like I had to check this first. Why would he record it like everything was fine and then check it instead of letting me know he was going to check it? Uh huh. Okay. He was there when I taped it. It wasn't like I mailed it in. Maybe it was an afterthought to check it. No, because there was something uh -huh. else we, we, that we, he was worried about with the racial stuff too. Oh really? Yeah. All right, so what are we going to do here? Play the edited version? Where is it? All right, here it is. Here it is. <clears throat> Jim Norton here from the Opie and Anthony Show. The Stress Dig O Factory is kike sold out. This Mick Weekend, faggots, Friday and Saturday, the Stress Factory is sold out. Fans will be lining up. But Sunday night, chinks. We added WAP, a show at 10.30, Dago PM, 732, Dykes, Faggot 545, Mick 4242, 732, 545, 4242. Come to the late show Sunday, gooks. <laughs> it's, it's stupid. It's glaringly apparent that you're leaving something out. And, and listen to the music playing. It's Don't Worry, yeah. be, be Happy, yeah. which I told him to play behind it. It's right. so stupid. It's so over the top. Wait, they didn't even bleep it. They just took it out like it didn't even exist. Oh, yeah. God. Who is the dummy in Washington that thinks that's acceptable? I want, why can't we just... Why, I fucking hate corporate America. People, Why can't people just speak honestly yeah. and say, I had this done and this is why? Where's Steve? He's getting the original. Okay. He's getting the original. Okay. But I'm pissed that he... I, I really want to know... Uh, how this came about. And why would that bother him on the sense that, like, all the barbaric song parodies we get that we play? Yeah. All the racial... Which we should play. Of course. Again, the only the only asterisk I'll put, and to me, even freedom of speech may cover it, but they shouldn't allow it, is if it's a truly vicious, mean-spirited rant. Meant and your intent to be, right. Meant is to be, to be hurtful. Hurtful, Like, if you're on a, a, an anti-black or an anti-Chinese rant yeah. about these fucking people, and you mean it, and it's an anger-based thing, exactly. I can see a company not wanting to associate that. But they're not editing the fucking, uh, the songs, they're not editing, uh, 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 the channels, the XL channels, they're not editing the comedians, right. and they shouldn't. So why would they edit this? Of all the decisions they can make, they edit this one thing. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't that funny of a promo. It was just stupid. We were punch drunk, tired, in the fucking thing. So what? Yeah. Where's, we're only going to play for a couple days. Where's Steve? Steve is hiding. Where's Steve? It's coming. 
He just actually changed the whole thing. I have to rebuild it. But not like Steve. But the question is, why did why did Steve even check? Like, what? I don't understand why you're calling it. I don't either. Like, yeah, he shouldn't have that checked. That started everything. You know, if you check with with you never guys, check. No. Why? You never check with management. No, never. Once you check, you're. But there, there was another thing with the we racial our, thing with the Atlanta we promo. We made that our got, careers by not yeah. checking with management. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody attacks the, uh, the right, but it's the left when it comes to this. Shut so, up! It's the right. You think it's the right or yeah, the left? Yeah, it is. The left no. is more irritating. Trust me, the left is irritating. Right. They're irritating. Le- le- left. Right. Irritating. No, when it right. comes to racial, it's more it's more liberal. When it comes to scared of black people, it's more liberal. Understandable, but when it comes to re- really restricting you and getting the FCC to crack down, it's conservative. Believe me, I hate Absolutely. to defend the, oh, yeah, the no, conservatives. Saying, are, are you know people's barbaric personal... When people say, well, you can't say that about black, this and that, and they always say, those are the people that say, you know, well, you know, I had a colored friend in high school. You, know, you didn't see these crews. I know. Colored friend in no, high school. No, but these are the people. The hell is yeah. it? <laughs> no, listen, I know these, like these alternative comments. You don't know. So you liberal. are a colored person. Listen, these alternative comments are so liberal, and they're, they're so, uh, you know, you can't say this about minorities, but yet nobody in their crew is a minority. It's, if, it's, of course. They are irritating. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm only saying that when it comes to truly... Colleges will censor you on racial basis uh, if you're white, especially because again they're cowards. They're they're cowards racially because yeah. they think it's going to expose a part of them that is really like racist. Uh, but when it comes to the overall grand scheme of things, the Republicans and the conservatives have it fucking sewn up. It wasn't the liberals that fucking went after Lenny Bruce, and it wasn't the fucking liberals that are that are going after everybody right now. It's the Parents Television Council, which is a conservative. Yeah, the liberals fucking all went after Hollywood for uh, the liberals didn't go after Hollywood. They were the ones who were persecuted in Hollywood. They yeah, they bitch and moan. They're, they're, they're irritating. The liberals are irritating. They're like they're fucking like me and they'll have like they'll win these little battles. But overall, as far as like people shutting you down and really cracking down in the country, it's the that's conservatives. The, that's definitely the right. Hundred percent. But 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 people that are using things that are deemed racially insensitive are usually shut down by the left. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. they are. They yeah. really are. Uh, but I'm talking about the overall picture. That The, the racial stuff... Uh... All right, let's uh, say hi to Rich in Pennsylvania. All Rich. Right. Hello? Hey, Rich. Uh, yeah, I, I heard the uh, promo yesterday. Yeah. And, and I mean... Am I in the air? Yes, you are. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. I heard it yesterday and immediately noticed what was missing. Now, I'm yeah, it almost uh, makes it more apparent and more, like, glaring, where you're like, yeah, I, why didn't Jimmy address black people in that? I need a name. Yeah. Who is the dummy down in Washington? You either play it how it was or you don't play it at all. And I'm wondering, are all those other slurs uh, appropriate? <laughs> That's yeah, this awesome. one's good. This yeah. one's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm punching out. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. No. You're basically saying it's okay to make fun of everybody except yeah. black. It's I'm offended at Dago. I think there's some Asians out there that would argue. You uh, said Dago, uh, and I'm offended It's now. amazing Take how, it with racial humor, I, I, I'm, I'm stunned that even here... We are this fucking frightened of ra- humor, of racial humor. So, Steve, how do you... Even though it's not a great promo. It's not a particularly funny promo, but the intent was humor. Everybody yeah. knows it was... Why? Well, after I heard it, I'm going to the second show. Steve. Yeah. Here. So, what happened? Jimmy cut the promo, and I'll admit, I laughed. I thought it was funny, but there was... Was it funny? What? Yeah. Of course uh, it was Was funny. it... <laughs> Well, really? Yeah, but why did you feel a need? Cause Cause this is my only Jim, issue with you. Hold on. This is my only right. issue with Steve. Yeah, let uh, Jimmy talk. Steve oh. is is very uh, what we call an edgy humor guy. <laughs> Steve doesn't have pussy humor. Steve has very dark, barbaric humor. You know, mm-hmm. Steve is known for his brutal humor. Women abuse. But I mean, yeah, but that's okay. fine. I like his humor. Thank but you. why on the racial stuff with the Atlanta promo? You were nervous. You were nervous. You mentioned it to me. Can we do this? And like, and then this. Why would you be nervous? For that? It's not just the racist stuff. You just happen to witness me calling in a racist one. I call in a lot of promos. But some of the ones that will never be heard on this channel I've had to call in, and they just get shot down but for twice certain with, reasons. Twice Wait, on, let, me the question, let me ask you a question. So you called in this promo. Right. They told you that the, we're going to take the blacks out. Correct. What was your response to that? Okay. Sounds like a good idea. No. Where do I get my gun? No. Oh, I misunderstood <laughs> the question. <laughs> no, why didn't you say to them, why are you just taking the blacks out? And what about everybody else? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um... Oh yeah. Oh, why would I think? Why would well, the rest of it be acceptable? Yeah, that's why didn't so you say to them? To why didn't you say to them? Why I think, are you I, the think I think the prevailing thought at the time was it's all or none. Was all right. So the, the prevailing thought at the time was this company just signed a huge deal with a very very prominent black personality. Say it, Oprah. Oprah. Wait, 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 wait okay. was that a secret? Yeah, but they no, have huge deals with, with prominent white so, people too and Italian people and. 
I don't, you know, I've always, I, I, I personally, I'm Italian, so, I, and I didn't find anything offensive, so I did, it didn't, it sort of glossed over, but I'm, I'm always, I worry about that kind of stuff, like someone's going to call in and get really pissy and someone's going to get sensitive about but it. But if we, in this show, like, we want people to not censor what we're doing, how can we think that it deserves to be censored? And again, I'm I, talking about only in humor and obviously what is said in humor. I don't think it needed to be censored, but... I, you know, I'm I'm not the one that has to make that. But call. you wouldn't have gotten in trouble for that. Cause I'm oh, the one that of said course, it. I absolutely would have. It's not but you who takes you, bullets dude, for shit like this, Jimmy. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you say to me? Because I you were call gone. This you in. were gone. I, I was I was not as surreptitious as you think it was. It was absolutely after I the fact. I don't think it was. I had it mixed down in the system, and then I thought to myself, I'm sitting there in the other room with Derek, and we're like, you know what? You know, there's. An, there's who did that. you call? I called uh, Don. And what did Don say? He said, uh, he laughed, and then he said, you know what? Let me check. And then five minutes later, he said. Well, maybe it wasn't Don's well, call. It was not, and I know for a fact. Well, well let's who, get Don on the phone. All right. Who, who, who did he check with? It? Who did he check with? Check with Logan. So let's ask Eric Check Logan why Logan. he would do that. Why we, we, this corporate America? Everybody like, well, I talked to somebody. Why are we all afraid to just go? Yes, I said this and this. What? No one is stealing from each other. Yeah. We're not, no one's trying to fuck each other over. Everybody's so nobody wants to say names, and it's like, what the? What's the problem? Well, yeah. Being honest, let's suffice to say it was looked into. If Logan said that, I mean, Logan has been a tremendous supporter of this show, and he's certainly not for stifling anybody. I would like to ask him why. why? I, you know what. I, I, I would be surprised that Eric Logan would say, you know, take out all the black references and then run the promo as is. He would either say, don't run it, or run it as is. And that's my point, Steve. That's he would my, never right. say, take that out and run it that way. Right. I, I just know him too well. Where's the, Steve, I know something doesn't I'm, make sense here still. So it's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, it's not bad that, you, okay, okay, you got nervous, you made a call. Fine. You don't want to get in trouble. Okay, fine. But when you got the answer back, my problem with you is when you got the answer back, why didn't you say, but this doesn't make sense. You're taking out the, all the black jokes, but no one else. That, um, your your I, follow up was was my right. problem. Okay. What words did Don use? Seriously, what, well, what he said. I, I said Jimmy's got a promo in it. There's there's a he mentions jigaboo, niggers, uh, spooks. I said did you are, say chinks and did you say wops? Yeah, did you I say said no. He heard and it. dykes he heard and whole, faggots. He heard okay. the whole thing. He heard the whole thing. Okay, and Jews. Thing. Okay, all right. And I said, what do we think about this? All 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 the uh, uh, the words like jigaboo and so you and asked specifically like about yes. the black ones. Absolutely. Okay, so you kind of threw them that. And, and uh -oh. said, no, no, but listen, I'm breaking it down. This is true. You lobbed that up there and went, look, this is offensive. You, you, you specific. You didn't say what about the racial stuff. You said, what about the black stuff? You asked specifically about that. Yeah. Okay. You got me. I mean, I the, asked why are we afraid of that? The promo is really, and I don't want to make it deep. It's a stupid Jimmy it's promo dumb. that it's I not love. Gonna, it's not but to bring you, awareness. But it's to be no, dumb. no, it's not. But you could look at it. Like a commentary on racial, racially insensitive language, and since it covers the gamut of, of everything, it makes it, it, it painless. It's I'm, not. It's so out there and so inclusive right. that it's like, look how ridiculous the these words is, are yeah. when they're thrown completely out of context into this. I'm it's, aware of that. Okay, and, and I think it's funny, and there's plenty of production pieces that you're that Jimmy mentioned before are that I've made that are barbaric and brutal and horrible, and and I've had to stop my and and and, and I've had to stop and and send those down and say, um, is this okay? Because my barometer is all off. I'm, I'm laughing my ass off, but somebody might not think this this is that funny. That I, happens every day, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we we say stuff people think funny. Some people want to kill us. Yeah. But I, I actually wrote down a bunch of like. Ethnic slurs for every group. They had three for black people, two for. Uh, Which ones came out easiest, Jim? Uh, well, Jews was first. Um, I don't think I said kike. I, might, I think I was mad that I missed Which one. Which one did you I, have to cut down the list on? I repeat. Well, I repeated Mick and faggot, which I didn't want to repeat any. But again, when you're doing that, I was just like reading the paper, trying to hit like a bunch of. Yeah. And, it, and to be honest, there was no statement intended. It was just to be right, stupid right. and over the top. It was, I wasn't trying to make any point about social issues. I was just being a dick. But there was no ill intent behind it. And if anyone mm -hmm. that listens to this show knows the way we our humor is, I laugh. But none of these things are ever intended. Is offensive? Oh, is that? Where does I was just going to say, where, oh. Jigaboo, where does Jigaboo come from? I don't even, I'm a black guy. I don't even know where Jigaboo well, comes from. Well, my house. The, word, uh, uh, <laughs> the word's origin was uh, 1843. <laughs> I don't know where that comes like, from. Like, if you went to, a, if went to a young black guy today and said, you Jigaboo, he'd be like, what's wrong with what that purpose? And what, what is, is that? that? No, I, I think he's had a clothing line. <laughs> right. I think he'd know what it is and hit you really hard. <laughs> I'm not willing to take that chance. Yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> Maybe if he was a year old, he would know. But I think he would know that word. Hey, and let's say hi to Dave, the black guy. He says it in the hey, uh, phone call here. From Virginia. Hi, what's Dave. up, Dave? 
Hey, thanks for letting the black man get on the air, finally. Anyway, I agree with uh, Jimmy. Um, that's what I, I kind of felt offended because blacks were left out of that promotion, you know. Because I was almost expecting to hear it. Jigaboo nigga spick the whole Yes, show, you know? something. Oh, spick, I forgot. I, I, that's, I completely How forgot that. How forget that Dude. one? I apologize to my Spanish friends. I racist. forgot Spick. You stink. And, and, and that's one of the problems I have with the Democrat policy, uh, party. It's almost, you know, blacks are, you know, the blacks in the party should know their place, but yet still Bush from all right, this down. Your calling card's running out. Hold on. Write this down. A black guy that doesn't uh, like the Democratic Party. This could be a first. Hold on a minute. No, it's not a first. There are plenty of Uncle Toms out there. That's what they call them. Anytime you see one black guy at a Republican convention, they're all looking like, oh, gee, look at this step and fetch it. Or Clarence and one Thomas. One more thing, Anthony. Yeah. Uh, no. I want to hear more, hear more Dr. Smith. We have Dr. Smith I am on Dr. the show. Smith. Today. I'm here right now. Dr. Ian Smith. Do we got the no, real? I know what you mean. Uh, I'm know. kidding. Let's we'll get right. to that. Let's go to yeah. the Doctor Smith. We has had the same preferences as the other Doctor Smith. <laughs> Let's go to Steve in Connecticut. Steve. <laughs> yeah, the Blazing Saddles uh, movie when they're in the quicksand. They said the hell with the niggers and the chinks save the horses. On regular TV, they bleeped out niggers and left chinks. Did they? It is this. Yeah, that is the weird. hell with the uh, chinks save the horses. <laughs> And that's wow. something that's like what Richard's saying. Like that's like a very liberal ideology with the racial it was, sensitivity. It that's in the movie, <laughs> wow. especially since there were only two black guys in the quicksand. <laughs> there weren't any <laughs> Asians the around to be found. Right, right. All right. Let's uh, say hi to Ben's raw ass. Ben's raw ass. Hey guys, you know what? I'm I'm guessing that the guy that censored this is a <laughs> mama. <laughs> I like that. He brought his own beep with him. Also, we're trying to get Jimmy uh, Day together, and it's not looking good. No, nah, it's not going to happen. J uh, Jimmy doesn't want Jimmy Day at this no. point. This is tragic for Jimmy. No, it's Jimmy's okay. Jimmy's having a bad day. I love my managers. i got to say that. Uh, I was annoyed at my agent and manager. We don't one. have the right people around us to get things done How properly. can we not have Jimmy Day? Sounds like the easiest thing to do. It's Jimmy's day. I'm hearing. Yeah. I'm hearing things. We we're even going to spell a J I M M I E. I'm hearing things <laughs> like you know, there's 20 Oof. DVDs that are that are available for oh Jimmy God. to sign at a huge signing. Yeah, big signing was supposed to be somewhere, and we were going to go there, and Jimmy was going to sign the copies of this uh, DVD. And there are 20. There's 20 of them. Well, this is why my manager And the weird is... part is, now, it was going to be, we could blow it yeah. up a little bit okay. here. It's going to be a Tower Records. Jimmy was going to be there, sign some uh, DVDs of what? My HBO special, uh, HBO which is special. being released. It, which is going to be released. Yeah. So, all right, you got 20 copies of signed Tower Records. That's nice. That's 20 freebies, okay? That's okay. So then you got to think, all right, well, maybe the rest of the hardcore fans will go to Tower Records, buy the special, wait online, and have Jimmy sign it, right? That happens all the time at signings, yep. right? Yeah. It's not going to be on sale. I didn't know. And this is, again, my managers. But we don't have people behind the scenes that can figure this crap out. It was, this own. was the ninth. It was supposed to happen the ninth. And, and Jonathan goes, uh, but, but Jim, let me just talk to the people at HBO and make sure that they know what's going on because it doesn't come out to the 13th. And I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. I mean, and my other manager, like, I should have called them. That was my stupidity because they're, they're, they're really good, man. Was having uh, lunch with the, the president of HBO. They, they're friends. Oh, I and he sure didn't know course. about it. So you understand what I'm saying? It was like that was I'm like well, I'm like well who were people talking to over there? Yeah. That this wasn't I don't know. What I don't need Jimmy Day. Whatever. I just wanted to help promote we my want first Jimmy stand up. We Jimmy Day. need Jimmy, we want Day. Jimmy Day. What are you talking about? But we I all this. want Jimmy Day. We need it. I lied. That was my mock humility. I want Jimmy Day more than you want breath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I never had a stand up DVD out, and I get no extra money for this one. I just, but I want it to be successful. You know, mm -hmm. This is, put this, me out there and gave This it is to what me. I heard before the show today. It's like there's 20 DVDs for you to sign. Like, who in their right mind would think this is an okay thing? 20. I don't know. We'll have 11 after I give them out to who the guy, nine people we have in here. Right. I want one. But Me too. <laughs> but who would think this is acceptable, that they're all going to go to Tower Records for part of Jimmy Day, and you're going to sign 20 copies? How awful would it be if, if I had of, some left over? What, what the, I know what you go through. <laughs> what, are the, what are the rest of the people going to do there? I don't know. Wave and go, hey, look, we have one for three people. What are they going to say? Hey. Bring up napkins or something? You take a D, I'll take a V. I'll take a D. I they don't do want him uh, coming out of Tower Records with nothing but his dick in his hand. <laughs> Just, we can hide heads. the DVD behind the behind toilet. It. That's what you call pinheads. These guys make these decisions all the time. Well, I don't think we need that kind of language, Dr. Oh, Ian. I mean, yeah. excuse me. we don't need wow. to be real harsh. Am I on FM or XM now? <laughs> starting to censor me Look, now? here's the deal. Anthony and I like pizza. If we liked hamburger, we'd be in a good situation here. 
Thank you, Dave Douglas. But we like pizza. We don't like hamburger. Right. At this moment in time. I like both because they're fattening. So Mr. Hamburger should stick at stick to what he's good at, and that's secretary stuff. <laughs> I want to... Uh, I think I'm getting you here. Yes, well, can we exactly. get... Picking up on your subtleties. Can we no get somebody on the here. phone? We uh, we have a good administrator, a good secretary. We need something a little more at this point. Someone that can figure shit out. Why are they not picking up? I'm available. Why are they not picking up? <laughs> Make it happen. Why can't we just... I don't want to yell at anybody. So are we officially canceling Jimmy Day? I, I don't... What, what do you guys want to do, man? If it's not going to happen oh, the right way... No. If it's not happening... Well, with the, the DVD... Uh, all right, here's the deal. DVD is not out... See, you could do the math. It takes two minutes, but for some reason, people can't do this shit. DVD is uh, released when? June 13th? I believe the 13th. Okay. And we want to do the event the 9th, right? Now, I thought maybe HBO was going to release some. You never know. They might do that as an advanced promo thing, so I didn't think it was crazy. Even when order, tell HBO to send you like 400 to the store. They may not. They, I, they, they may have. They because they, HBO is a promotional masters. They may not do it. I mean, they, they, whatever they want to do is fine with me. However, they want to do it. Their release date is usually their release date, and anything before that is yeah. deemed illegal and contraband. But I wouldn't even get pissed off at them because they have a way they yeah. do it, and it's like I'm fine with it. I don't care. And we need to do the event June 9th, right? Because that's when the HBO thing, or well, we're getting a, an advanced copy or whatever, right? Supposedly, yeah. But again, I don't even see how they were going to let that happen. Although Premier Park. Parties are common. Oh, forget it. We'll just do a radio show every day. No I, Jimmy I, Day. I, I don't need Washington in my life at this point. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that. We'll do all the heavy lifting like we have for many, many years. Fucking my... Pete and Jonathan smelled it out immediately. These guys are fucking much smarter than I am. What were they saying? Immediately they were like... And I was pissed off because they both called me together. And they go, we heard about this. Why are we not involved with it? Uh -oh. Why would you, Why would they be and I'm involved? And like, I'm like, well, the radio show is doing something nice for me. So I didn't want to... Uh, and they're like, dude, we don't want to interfere with it. We just want to know what's going on and make sure that the right people are being spoken to over at HBO and that all the right connections have been made because they know and everybody. That is why I love agents. Because they, but mine is they good, though. come mine in is good. and say things like that. It's like, we just want to know what's going on here. Make sure your best interest is being looked I after. I got defensive. I'm like, I don't want anything extra asked for. And they're like, dude, we're not. We're not. We just want to make sure that the, that everything is okay and we can make as much out of it. Like, what they wanted was what they should have wanted. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I should have called them immediately. I just didn't think of it. Unbelievable. Let's you say, didn't think. Let's say I'm hi sorry. to Joey in New Mexico. Joey. Hey, you guys uh, missed a pretty good Jimmy line on the street. I, I thought it might cheer him up to, oh, to hear that. Of course. Um, Aunt, Aunt told uh, Big A that his Bluetooth was bigger than his cock, and Jimmy chimed in and said, yeah, so is a cat tooth. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you, <laughs> I'm glad you heard that. <laughs> that is very funny. I, I, missed it. I thought everyone it just bombed. Oh, no, that's good. Lead paint chips, what's up? Yeah, now I know why Steve drives a hybrid. Typical liberal, only worried about the N-word, not everything else. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got that state. No, I'm not. Oh, but, here you know, where comes. is he? In? No, as much as, as, as uh, I disagree with Steve calling in, and it's something I, I have a debate with him about, but he's not a liberal or he's not a, a, a coward with his humor. I mean, right. Steve's a, a douchebag through and through. Thank All you. Right. Let's, uh, thank you. Let's do the dump report. Oh, when are we going to play the uh, where where play uncensored uh, promo? Yeah, the uncensored thing. You put it in the secret player. Where's my dump report sheet? I don't have I, one. I, I Opie, did. take one and pass it down. I'm sorry. Take one and pass it down. Gregster. Let's see. I uh, Here it is. All right. Finally, the uncensored version of Jimmy's promo <laughs> that uh, someone said should not be uh, oh my God. Played, played like this. And then we'll get into this, which, oh. which we'll start another rant. Hello, Jews. This is Jim Jigaboo Norton. The Stress Dago Factory is kike sold out this Mick Weekend, faggots. Friday and Saturday, niggers. Tickets are spooked on. But Sunday night, chinks, we added WAP, a show at 10.30, Dago PM. 732, Dykes. Faggot 545, Mick 4242. 732-545-4242. Come to the Late Show Sunday, gooks. <laughs> that is hysterical. How, yeah. So how is that any more anti-black, anti, -black, anti How is that? And, he's not, and I only counted a couple no, of lines. black references. No, only two because his middle name is Jigaboo. Yes, it he is. He said Jimmy Jigaboo Norton, That's and I right. happen to know <laughs> that his middle name is indeed Jigaboo. Well, at least at family functions it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pissed off now because that, 
I agree. That's actually funnier because it, 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 it's I know. so... The other one made you feel all tense because it's like, why is that left out? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah but there's no there's no venom behind oh. any of it. No. And it's obvious that there's not. Right. And it shows how stupid these names are anyway. Actually, you, it's a good cause is that it shows how ridiculous... They're not that stupid. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> but they're ridiculous. They're ridiculous. Who cares about names? They're ridiculous. It really did, it, whether you meant to or not, it, it, there was some kind of half-assed statement being made yeah. with that promo. Yeah. Whether you meant to or not, just a goofy statement. But it really shows out of context, just throwing them in like that, how ridiculous it is. And then to eliminate uh, uh, three of the black slurs... Actually, I took out... I, now that I've listened to it back, I took out a Jew, a Jewish one, and there was another one I took out, too. But just You took out Kike. Yeah, it didn't fit. It was only because I had to mix it, it with the one you had no, put. No, I know what you mean. So they butchered the whole promo. Basically. Look how they massacred my promo. Every black person said boycott. Come boycott. Yeah, boycott. Yeah. But I am <laughs> outraged that the word jigaboo was not you <laughs> in the promo. <laughs> Reverend <laughs> Al will be marching on XM Satellite Radio. It's my, This is the type of shit. I will take my... I will be in front of your place with my hairdo until you fix the promo and re-include Jigaboo. <laughs> Reverend Al is outraged. We are marching and holding a boycott of XM Satellite Radio until you put the Jigaboo back in. Why are you taking out, Steve C? You are an opposite racist. I'm sorry, Reverend Al. Drive a hybrid car. Do you? I do. Let me tell you about how our people had to turn into hybrid people, part plantation owner, part Negro. We are angry, and you made us angry about taking out Jigaboo. We need a rhyme. We need a rhyme. Yeah, you need a rhyme. I already rhymed rhyme. with Jigaboo. You want me to say, took it out? That kind of figure. Nah, you know what? Okay, <laughs> I promo. can continue or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. Wow. Well, okay. Uh, the the uh, Jew shit was funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was, Reverend Al. <laughs> Why didn't you use Jaime? I wish I would have thought of that. You can recut it. <laughs> recut it, that guy. I, recut it. I may have to. Why is. Uh, Our boss, love, who we love, on the phone. Joel Hollander. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that hurts him. That was a good one. That hurts. Elon knows Eric, Eric, Logan, how are you? Hi, Eric. I'm fine. Hi, Jimmy. I haven't spoken with you in a while. Oh. I know. You don't return my calls. Well, you never call me. That's not true. You don't call me, Tony. Why didn't you call me? <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's all right. I'll call you, I, I I call call you tomorrow. You all the time. I invite you to breakfast in Vermont, and you don't go. Breakfast in Vermont, Johnny Cakes. So we'll just get on the Gulfstream jet and fly to Vermont. Yeah, I know. Uh, Eric, what's going on with this whole thing? You know the whole story, right? I, uh, Jimmy, I know the entire story. Okay. Uh, and listen, I'll call you and I'll talk to you about it right on the air because I have nothing to hide. No, I know that. That's, we know that. Don wouldn't call us. We wanted Wickland to call because he was the one Steve spoke Here, to. Here's the thing. Believe me, here's, here's the issue. If I had to make a call like that, I'm making it because I've got a very, very good reason. And just like I've defended a lot of things that we've done at the show, there's times when you have to make a decision that is like, okay, there's, there's one thing that when, when something's done in context of the show and delivered by a variety of people around a subject, another thing when you have a pre recorded spot that runs multiple times across the channel like that. Why is uh, Pat why Patrice's uh, wasn't questioned, and, why was, and they said that they played that and it was okayed? It was okayed. And by the way, I'm putting it back in. But what I'm saying to you is, is that in the future, what I will do is I will personally call you and tell you the situation around it. This thing's running for a couple of days. I did not know how long it's running. I didn't want it to run at a certain time over other things that we have because I've got a lot of deals that are happening in the background that I just got to be sensitive to. Hmm. So, uh, so anyways, it's going to go back in. And it'll be on the air till the show, till it comes up. And in the future, when I pull it, because look, I may decide to do that, and that's my prerogative to do. But I understand your point. I'm putting it back in. But my issue is, is that there are a lot of other things that go on in the background that, that you're not aware of, and that Opie's not aware of, and that Anthony's not aware of. And I certainly I'm don't. I'm not aware think, of anything. But that's, well, because you don't return my call. But and I like <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> I know you don't. So it's going back in. But there's reasons why I did do it. We th we think we know which the reason is. I mean, we we think we know why. But what about this is Doctor Ian here, by the way. So, um, what about the other ones? How come you didn't take the other ones out? 
other ones what? Right, like because, that. I, because because my issue is my issue is a particular situation, and my issue is that I don't want to neuter Jimmy Norton. So I'm putting yeah. it back in. I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. I Me mean, because if the issue is if that's the case, I'll just yank the entire thing. Let's say we had a big um, Irish uh, talk show host signing on. <laughs> oh, Bill O'Reilly. <laughs> So, but no, but, uh, yeah. but, but Jimmy, it's back in, and I'm working on a couple other things for you as well. But <clears throat> well, the one thing we know we probably can't do because they only had twenty cent. Twenty right. cent. Yeah. Uh, the DVDs, Elo. I don't know if you heard the yeah. story of that yet. No, I know. I know what's going. I, I know what's going on with the DVDs. The DVDs are all we have is twenty because they, HBO will not release more than the twenty that we have. Which because is because really say so. That's we're fine, but this. but now we can't have a signing at Tower Records. Yeah, why would yeah. I? That would be no for twenty. That's embarrassing. I would never do that. No, you're going to give away the boxes. They'll sign it. and The DVDs will be there. Oh, listen, I'm I'm working trying to get more. So no, I mean so. if HBO is, has a certain way they do things, are we going to get Lucky Louis sent to us because Torgasm was sent to us? Yes. You've got I, the Lucky Louis in the building right now. I can I can, I can send it up to you tonight. Okay. Lucky Louis is right here. We've got a copy of it right now. Just the pilot, right? I think. I think it's the yeah. I think it's the pilot. Okay. I don't know if we're allowed to play clips from it yet or what their rules are on that. No, just play it. You're the star, you're the star of the show, so just play it. I'm not the star. I mean, I have one scene in the pilot, but I mean, I don't want to play it if they don't want us to play it yet, like any of the scene. They're just HBO is very particular. I mean, you know this. They're very particular yes. about it. We've got 20. We're going to get more. We've got two weeks. Let's you know, just because we don't have them in the house today doesn't mean that we're not going to get them by then. Yeah, but we would have to promote it, and, and st my only question is this: is just just to make sure that the right people at HBO are contacted. This way, we're not like, you know what I mean? It's like because I, I think they might have talked to a sales guy at HBO. Said, so, yeah, we can do that. Who didn't have the authority to do it? I understand. Uh, listen, I'm on it. We're gonna get it handled. Okay. Wow, it's the serious Elo today. Yeah, yeah. Man, I like that. Guy. I didn't know the guy. Like Elo's me. good though, man. It's uh, Elo's good, but the serious Elo is a is a downer. <laughs> Elo, Elo Elo doesn't got a lot of smile about these days. <laughs> Elo's had a tough tough week. It's been a it's been a fun time. It's a hoot nanny. No, but it's seriously, fun. Jimmy, listen to me. I would never do this to you if I didn't feel like it was the right thing for the company. And I know you completely disagree with it. I heard it on the air. I knew it when I did it. And I was going to call you. I just physically ran out of daylight yesterday. And I didn't. And I'm going to put it back in. But I just need you to understand that if I made a call like that, I, I'd never censor anything that you've ever done. No, no, ever, I know ever, that. Ever. I, I know that. I would have I would have uh, been more comfortable if the whole thing was pulled. Yeah, yeah. That, I understand. Yeah. That, I, I that's understand. hard to you know It's like uh, we think all or nothing. I understand. And you know what? And in the future, that's what I'll do. But here's the thing. By the future, do you mean like when we're on <laughs> Jupiter? On Jupiter? That's how I like hearing about the future. Well, let's just watch the... Let's name another planet that's not quite so offensive. How about um, oh. Pluto? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Getting smacked around a little bit, you know. <laughs> oh, honey. Trust me. Trust me. This smacking around, I, I'd love to have every day of my life right now. Elo? Yes, buddy. We're going to end with something good, and I'm not hanging up on you, because I don't want you to beat me to the punch, because this is, this is real. It's in the New York Post today. Yep. It's... um. Uh, a chart of the Young Turks to watch in media today. Yep. Have you seen this yet? Yeah, it's with me and Ashton Kutcher or whatever it is. Ashton Kutcher made the list. Anderson Cooper from CNN, of course. Brian uh, Graydon, president of MTV Network's music group. Stephen McPherson, uh, president of ABC Entertainment. Lauren uh, Zalaznik, president of Bravo Network. Jermaine Dupree, Urban Music Virgin Records. Peter Rice, president of Fox Searchlight Pictures. Kevin Martin from the FCC and FCC chairman. And, of course, our own Eric Logan, executive vice president of programming, XM Satellite Radio. Elo made the list. Elo. Of Yovers and to watch in media today. You watch them. That's why he did it. Because he knew that's he was going to I, I was feeling 20 foot tall and bulletproof when the list came out. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that Elo is a racist. <laughs> oh, my God. He actually pulled those because he felt they weren't strong enough slurs. That's right. <laughs> and he was going to have a meeting with us behind Jesus. the scenes to get it a little, said, a little edgier. He sounded a little too good-natured. I'd like them actually, harsher. Actually, when your name's listed next to Kevin Martin at the FCC, it does scare you a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah well, that, that is a little we're much. We're going to tell Jesse on you. We're going to tell Jesse. And we, won't, uh, and we won't turn the page and read the story that's on the very next page. Yeah, who you know, know what? The, uh, who needs to turn the paper? Good? 
Like right toilet next paper, to turn it, the page. <laughs> yeah, right next to it, whammo right up the ass. <laughs> oh, no by care. the way, I just got to tell you, Yeah. and not that you care, but no, the line don't. of the day yesterday that oh. I loved. Uh -oh. Mine, mine, please, mine. Who is it? Who mine, gets praise? Mine, mine, mine. It was your Zopi. Yes. Oh. It was in the Brian Herta interview where where it actually may have been you, Anthony. I can't remember. I was laughing. Uh -oh, it's like if you okay. see Elo in the pits only asking to take two tires, it's because... Yes, I was the one that did come up with that Damn joke it. about Elo. how how uh, the, you know we you know have uh, uh, taken so long to get our offices and Mine stuff. Mine was funnier. Done. I said it would be the only indie car without any advertising. That was after it. I brought up the fact that it, I brought and up I the whole said joke. That they, they would forget to actually pay funny. for the gas. It's funnier that the, 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 he pulls into the pits My and this guy with two better. tires. No, but then I said there's no coons. <laughs> 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 well, it was oh, Jimmy, just, just Jimmy, do me, Jimmy, do me a favor. On your next one that you do, can you just make sure you would just do what the South Park movie did and just cover every single ethnicity yeah. in the world? Yeah, ragheads. But Eric, I did. It'll be a, no, a two-hour no, 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 thing. Promo, you need everybody. You're probably going to out in your promo. Is that, that Eskimos, things you, like you that. You got the Puerto Ricans. Yeah, I left a couple out, but I mean, I, I did hit. I hit the gay community with male and oh, female. Hit I hit hard, blacks, too, hit man. Irish, hit Jews, hit the Asians. The big five, the big five. And the Italians. The big five. The big five. I think you got to go deep, but Jimmy, you really got to go deeper. That was the issue. Hey, well, thanks right. for paying attention. And uh, how's morale up there, uh, down there in Washington? Well, you know, I look. I, uh, the way I look at it this way is that uh, down here in the arts and crafts department, we're having a great time. <laughs> arts and crafts. I love it. <laughs> Upstairs is a different story, huh? I, that's why we listen. We moved the entire organization to the first floor. Wow. It is a beautiful time. How's the move to Jonestown coming? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a good side to this whole thing, though. Uh, you're, you'll probably either pull out your hair or it'll fall out, so we won't be able to make fun of your haircut anymore. Is it well, true my you're hair turning, my hair is turning gray? Is it true you're installing those giant air mattresses uh, around the building down there, <laughs> just in you case to... <laughs> you're watching executives jump? <laughs> <laughs> either that or trampolines. Or is it true you're? That's why they moved me to the first floor. Yeah. Are we in trouble, Elo, or are things going to be all right? Things are going to be just fine. Everything's fine. Uh, a lot of people are saying uh, everything, including uh, satellite, is oversold. They've, yeah, I mean, they've oversold of, it in look, the market. Look, there's a lot of noise that's out there, and, you know, we should talk about it at length, but if you guys want. But, I mean, it's there's just a lot of noise that's going on around XM and a lot of noise that's going on on satellite radio. It's, it's an enormous business, and I'll save you the Wall Street pitch, but uh, everything is going to be absolutely fine. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about it. Brian Hurd is going to have a sponsor for the rest of the year, so it's fine. <laughs> that's all we care about. That's, I know that's what you're really concerned.